Hello everybody, this is Dragonblades. Welcome to the first video of that I'm making for Hades, the Superstar update. The Superstar update, my bad. Um, and then for this video, I just want to go over the aspects that each weapon has received. What I mean by aspects is that each weapon can now be augmented after you've completed a run with, with it. And these upgrades are all permanent and they're going to stick around. And I'm going to talk about which ones that I found are the most effective on each weapon. So first off, we have uh, Stygius, the blade. Uh, personally, as far as only Nemesis and Poseidon are good. Nemesis, this weapon is very straightforward. After you special, you get crit chance. Just overall straightforward damage and very simple to use. Uh, one thing to note is that your special now is a cast time. Before it just sort of shot out, expanded from uh, from your character model. Now you actually have a cast time. So what I recommend is, it, it's brief. It's like 0.1 seconds, right? Uh, what I recommend is while you're casting, dash into the enemy, just stay, stay a little bit further. And then as you're casting, dash into the enemy. That's the most effective way to use this the blade. Uh, next up is Poseidon's aspect. Looks very cool. Um, simple, you cast into somebody, you smack them, it comes down. Cast, smack. This is good if your cast is, you know, has a low has a low cooldown, or it comes out very quickly. Um, bad casts or casts that uh, don't get lodged inside other people, right? So, um, like Ares' cast or Dionysus' cast, those two would not work with this at all. Would not synergize with this at all. So keeping that in mind, uh, this is why I select Nemesis as aspect as the best because it's it's versatile, you know, it's good damage, it's good reliable damage, and it's versatile. Whereas this cast you're relying on, um, number one, it has to be a good cast, and then number two, you, it can has to it can be dis dislodged. Moving on, we have the Zagreus aspect uh, for my bad uh, for Vartha the spear. I tested this out. Basically, you throw the spear and you dash to it. And then you get a little bit of damage. You get a little bit of damage on the next two hits. Not bad. Uh, this one, just reading it, special speed and range, also really good. Um, but in general, eh, they're not bad. It's just different playstyle. I think they all work. I think the spear is very well made. All the aspects are all well made. They're all pretty good. But I just think the Hades one is good. Is the best. Uh, so essentially, you spin, and now notice the circle on the enemy. You just do more damage to them. Simple as that. Take more damage from attacking special. So very straightforward. Very, very great. Just good. No, nothing, not much else to say about the sphere. Next we move on to the shield. Uh, I believe the shield has the worst aspects. By far. You don't need damage reduction because if you're playing shield, you're gonna block you block you're gonna block your enemies anyways. So that doesn't matter. Uh, as for throwing a special after you bull rush, the problem is if after you bull, bull rush and then you throw your special, hold on, this isn't the right one. So this goes for all of them. Uh, if you bull rush and throw your special, you can't attack. Oh, they made it faster, right? But this relies on the special being very fast. Oh, you can instantly cast. However, just keep in mind if you do choose this one, the shield is the weapon that's been known to bug out the most. So I would recommend against it. The reason I like Zeus's aspect is because you throw it out, you can keep attacking, and it just continues to do damage. It's not great, but it's also not bad either. And you just throw it out and you just forget it, and it comes back after a while. And also you can just recall it. You know, not much to say about that. Moving on, we have uh, Coronach, the Heart Seeking Bow. Just by reading these. You don't need a power shot window, right? Just once you get the timing down, it's gonna be always consistent. Just aim for that, however long that takes. Uh, you don't need your special home. The reason is, if you're using your special, you're either really far away to begin with. It doesn't matter if it homes or not. That's not the reason why you're using your special. Or you're getting close, and you're making sure every last one of your special shots hit. So doesn't really matter. Harris aspect. Uh, it's all right. It's not the best. It's not the worst. The good thing about having the cast being lodged inside your enemy is that if your cast is or it goes with your sh first shot, 
it's a buttload. It's a buttload of burst damage right at that start. So say if you have Zeus's cast, it hits the first enemy and it all bounces out. Very, 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 very strong burst. Um, and as for lobs or stuff like, or Ares's cast, it just shoots out at the same time. Basically, there's nothing bad about it. It's not phenomenal, but it's good. It's good for burst. Next up, we're moving on to uh, Exegriff, uh, the Adamant Rail. I tested this out. It's bad. It's bad. Because a lot, because number one, you have to reload, right? Not every single run where you run with uh, Exegriff, you're going to reload, right? So it's just very inconsistent. And your base damage is 15. So this just doubles it for one attack. It's not good. Put it simply, it's not enough. Uh, max ammo, it's actually fine. Max ammo is good. Uh, assuming you get this with piercing shots or similar effects, right? Where your shots begin to um, close, the spread of your shots being close. Like, notice right now, if I shoot uh, right now, it's just very spread out. Notice where they end up. Where they end up gets closed down if you use inf um, <coughs> piercing shots, which is fine. Uh, so it's not bad. It's overall decent, but for me, Ares' aspect is just the best. Why? If you stand in your special, notice you get a buff. You get a buff, and you deal more damage. All right, more damage. It's pretty simple to use. You're you're gonna probably get close to enemies anyways. So overall, this is just my uh my go-to aspect. To my go-to aspect to go to. Uh, just to recap real quick, for the blade, I recommend Nemesis, straightforward and uh, versatile. Uh, Fartha, I think all these work, I think they're fine. I just like Hades the most, I like bonus damage, and it's simple to use. Uh, shield, they all suck, but at the same time you don't really need one, because you're not thinking damage damage of shield anyways. You just block all incoming attacks. Uh, for bow, I think they're all meh. They're not great, but Hera's Aspect gives you the most burst damage and just overall frontal damage, which I like. So I take it. And then lastly for Exegriff, Exegriff uh, I take Ares, Ares Aspect because more damage. It's solid. And yeah, that's going to be it for me for this first video. I know it's very short, but I'm just trying to go over explaining the aspects. I understand I did it pretty poorly, but so be it. Um, <laughs> And the next spot is going to be a full run through with probably the Exegriff because it has dark thirst on it. Yep. Uh, see y'all in the next video.